Welcome back to Good Day Stateline. A new year means new shows right here on Fox 39. And we are really looking forward to this one. It's called Special Forces, World's Toughest Test. Tonight we're getting to chat with one of the stars of the show who just happens to also be a five-time Olympic medalist, Nastia Lukin. Hi, how are you? I am good, how are you? I'm good. I cannot believe the show even exists. Watching the trailers, they're very, very intense. We've got to see a few of them, but the show actually kicks off tomorrow night. Tell me a little bit about what made you want to be on such an intense television show. Gosh, I mean, I, I kind of questioned that myself <laughs> when I was there a few times, but you know, I think um, I think it was there. There are a few things. Obviously, it's it's been a few years since I competed at the Olympics, and I know that you know when I was competing um, at the Olympic Games, the the level of mental strength and toughness, and and obviously physical as well, but that existed on a level that I didn't even know that I had. And then, you know, since then, I haven't really been able to or had the need to kind of like dig deep and find that again. And so I think kind of pushing myself, you know, to that to that limit again, both mentally, physically, emotionally um, was intriguing. <laughs> uh, and then, you know, just being able to like dig really deep and, and kind of find that again and um, the, being uncomfortable I didn't know quite be to that level. You know, I think none of us really knew what we were walking into 100%, but it was um, an experience of a lifetime to say the least. And, and now we have this bond with each other and we truly became family and it was uh, something really, really special. Yeah, so there's 16 of you on the show and from what I what I saw and what I read, I think you have these Navy SEALs kind of taking you through the Special Forces unit or whatever they can uh, for the US military. Did you compete against each other? Were you competing like on a team? Did you just compete or just want to survive? What, what's the premise there? <laughs> yeah, basically it's us about surviving. But no, you know, I think that's something else that was really intriguing to me was knowing that this isn't a competition. You know, you are truly there on your own personal journey. And I think what we quickly realized, um, you know, pretty much day one was that we actually needed to help each other. And, you know, other others, other competitions like Dancing with the Stars or the Olympic Games, for instance, um, it you get voted off or you don't win um, based on a score. And this was not like that at all. And I think that that was something that was really cool for all of us to be able to be part of knowing that it truly was about our own personal growth, our own personal journey. And then we realized, you know, if somebody got in trouble or if somebody got punished, we all did. And so that's when we, um, I think, realized like, okay, like let's actually look out for one another. Not only do we need each other to survive, but we also want to make sure that, you know, none of us get punished. So we don't have <laughs> to do that, you know, punishment can just take us the night or whatever, whatever that was. Well, it seems like you all survived, so that's great. Um, are you looking forward to watching this? Is this something that you've been waiting to see? When did you guys actually shoot the show? Yeah, we, we shot it last year. And so I think a lot of we we all have a group chat. And so we've all been kind of like a little anxious, to be honest, because you know, we don't really know what's going to be shown. And we do know, obviously, you know, the a two hour premiere, but then an hour each, each week. And so there was so much more that, you know, won't be able to be on the show. And so um, yeah, I think we're all a little anxious and a little nervous, but also excited. You know, I think we're excited. We weren't really allowed to talk about it for so many months. And so besides with, you know, our family and friends. And so I think we're, we're ready for it to finally just like be out there and, and to hopefully, um, you know, I know Obviously, Fox had you know a great production team behind it, but hopefully they're able to portray um, it in a way that we remember, I guess. And um, if not, we have the memories that we were able to create. So definitely very, very honored um, to have been able to be part of it. So many big names are on the show. Did somebody you know that you were on the show with become a really good friend? Is there like a new bond you have with one of these other celebrities? Yeah, I mean, to be completely honest, every single one of them. Um, you know, and I think that's something that we didn't expect. Uh, I think we expected to walk away from it with like, you know, new friendships or something, but mm -hmm. we truly have become family. Uh, and I think that's one of one of the most incredible things. And now since the show, 
you know, we in our group chat, if someone's traveling or someone has a performance or a show or or an event or something, we all like check in and just say like, hey, if anyone happens to be, you know, in LA or Florida or something like let's meet up. And, and so we've all gotten to see each other um, over the course of the last few months. And it, it truly is um, this bond because of whether it was, you know, discomfort, trauma, <laughs> you know, all these things basically that we now have um, for the rest of our lives. All right, I have one more question for you. It might seem totally out of nowhere, but it is uh, soup week on our show. So before we go, what's your favorite kind of soup, Nastia? <laughs> Gosh, I'm a big soup girl. So, um, got, you know, there's nothing like just like a good tomato bisque soup, um, especially in the winter. I had a little grilled cheese. <laughs> Perfect. That sounds like a great combo. Thank you so much for spending some time with us tonight. Thank you so much. Special Forces World Toughest Test premieres tomorrow night at 7 p.m. right here on Fox 39. We'll be right back with our first stop to find the state line's best soup.